ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 19 of the TW2020 challenge run. We are finally here, the second, or well, third technically pay-per-view extravaganza of the series, the joint branded Money in the Bank 2020 pay-per-view. And I know there's been a long time coming for me personally, a lot of stuff is going to be paying off here tonight as we crown Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank. Brock Lesnar challenges Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. And the main event for the Universal Championship, Braun Strowman defends against both Goldberg and Roman Reigns. Without any further ado, let's just jump straight into the show. <laughs> Ms. Morrison make their entrance for the kickoff match. And they just make their normal Ms. Morrison entrance. And they await the arrival of Rob Gronkowski and Mojo Rawley. When all of a sudden... Break it down. <laughs> and then, out come, not Triple H and Shawn Michaels, because the screen does not say DX, the screen says GX, G Generation X. Rob Gronkowski and Mojo Rawley doing their best DX cosplay as they make their entrance because, to them, DX are the greatest tag team of all time. So they need to channel their inner DX to win here tonight. And GX are going to be in there with Miz and Morrison. And, well, the match ki- the, ma- the, re- the bell rings and the match starts. And it's more of an angle sort of than an actual match. Rob Gronkowski doesn't actually get involved in the ring. They sort of spend five minutes throwing glow sticks into the crowd and firing each other up when Mojo Rawley wrestles the Miz and Gronk gets tagged in and he's getting all fired up by the crowd they distract him and then Miz and Morrison take him out and pin Mojo Rawley to get the win and I put this in the game as an angle because it is sort of an angle really and most importantly um, Rob Gronkowski was not contracted to wrestle <laughs> on in the contract, but um, hopefully I'll, I'll have to try and get that fixed because there is someone else's contract I need to tanker with. So I'll do Gronks as well. This hopefully won't be an issue going forward, but I need to make this an angle so I can actually do the match because Gronkowski can't wrestle according to his contract. So that was the kickoff match. Mr. Morrison did win over GX, who made their best DX entrance. Then the actual show kicks off with the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai, Liv Morgan, Sonya Deville, Ruby Riot. 19 minutes, 11 seconds, this one goes. And we have everybody, of course, has a chance to shine. Bianca would do some sort of impressive toss from picking up deadlifting like maybe Sonya and dumping everyone a ladder on the outside. Ruby and Liv would go at it. Dakota would do some impressive kicks with the ladder. But it would come down to, in the end, everyone's been laid out apart from Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot. They meet at the top of the ladder. And they smile at each other because they're finally going one-on-one yet again. And they exchange blows until Liv Morgan knocks Ruby Riot off the top of the ladder camera pans to live as she goes to reach up to grab the briefcase but then from out of frame she's yanked off the ladder and laid out by Bailey who holds the ladder firm as her best friend Sasha Banks climbs the rungs reaches the top and unhooks the women's money in the bank briefcase so Sasha Banks wins the women's money in the bank I know she was the one who needed it the least, but I had my whole story planned out and I didn't want to sort of just change for the sake of changing. So don't worry about any other women, they'll all be fine. Liv specifically has a um the challenge is to get a, world, a women's title match. That's why I picked her to be in that spot. But, um, of course, everybody could probably see what they probably think the end goal here is going to be. But I'd like to think you know me better than that by now, so... Hold on to your butt, because things are now going to get interesting. 63. Mustafa Ali defeats Dolph Ziggler with an 054. 
1450. Does what it says on the tin, Hakim Mustafa Ali gets his revenge on Dolph Ziggler, finally putting an end to that storyline. And a 76, in what I'm almost 100% sure will be better than both world title matches on this show, Kevin Owens defeats Andrade in 1713 with a pop up powerbomb to win the United States Championship. Of course, no Angel Gaza at ringside tonight because he has his own match to prepare for. And maybe that sort of mentally took Andrade out of it. But nevertheless, Kevin Owens picks up the win and he is the new United States champion. Speaking of Angel Gaza, his match is up next. Obviously, he'd be coming down to the ring as Andrade is going up and they'd sort of look at each other like what the fuck man where why have you lost your title and Andrade's like bitch you weren't even at ringside with me but it's also not a good night for Gaza because in 1334 Seth Rollins defeats him with a curb stomp would have liked to have given Angel Gaza a big win on pay-per-view but it's not quite the time to have him beat someone like Seth Rollins Seth's hot right now he's got the highest faction on Raw and Gaza just wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared to have him beat Seth Rollins at this point. 59, women's tag team action. Kabuki Warriors defeat the Iconics. Kyrie Sabe pins Billy Kay with a spear. And they retain the women's tag team titles. It's 49 for Kyrie, 72 for Asuka, 43 for Billy, 43 for Peyton, 41 for Billy. Yeah, just a standard women's tag team title match. Speaking of women's tag teams, J Flo are here because they need to break up this big long pay per view. And they're singing, and on the screen would be highlights of the matches we've had already Sasha winning Money in the Bank, Kevin Owens winning the US title, Gaza and Rollins, etc. And also clips from the build up of the rest of the matches we've got coming up, including the, Uni the Intercontinental Championship match, which gets a 77. Cesaro defeats Sami Zayn. By, by submission of a sharpshooter in 1943 to win the Intercontinental Championship. 74 for Sammy, 69 for Cesaro, and it is a great match between these two best friends. After the match, Cesaro offers a handout to his new, his best friend. No hard feelings, because the better man won here tonight, and Sammy, he's looking a bit frustrated with himself because he finally won his first title in WWE, and now it's all over. Cesaro's beating him and he's won the title. He, he accepts his friend's hand that has been offered out to him and they shake hands. A little bit too long. It lingers a bit too long. Sammy's still smiling over the top at Cesaro, who's sort of looking like, um, are you okay, Sammy? When all of a sudden, boom, from behind, Cesaro is smacked. Low blow from Shinsuke Nakamura. Sammy laughs as Cesaro goes to ground holding his balls and he's then laid out with a Kinshasa. Nakamura picks up the IC title, he has a look at it, then he puts it back on Cesaro and he'd like grin at him and they'd shout at him to enjoy his moment because who knows how long it's going to last. Men's money in the bank. Um, goes 22 minutes and It'll be all sorts all over the place. Mainly, main highlight, of course, I have to I have to bring attention to. There would be a Jeff Hardy dive through from one to, from one top of the ladder to through the announce table onto Apollo Cruz to take both him and Jeff Hardy out of the match. Well, actually, not Jeff, just Apollo. That's why Apollo is the only one I've got taking a stump bump here because he's the one who needs to take it for something that's coming up later on. And then, of course. We take everyone else out, and the last two men are Austin Fury and Alistair Black. Black Mass to Austin Fury takes him out. Then Alistair Black is all alone to pull the briefcase down, but he's jumped by Buddy Murphy, Akam, and Seth Rollins. They all lay, they all lay Alistair Black out, and Seth and Murphy keep him occupied as well as occupying the rest of ringside. Akam. The big muscle man that he is, he helps Austin Fury, the unconscious Austin Fury to his feet. And essentially has forces him up the ladder. And he regains regains consciousness right at the top. Just in time to pull and unhook 
the money in the bank briefcase. And in 22 minutes, 8 seconds, Austin Theory defeated Apollo Crews, Alistair Black, Sheamus, Chad Gable and Jeff Hardy to win the men's money in the bank ladder match. So Ruby Riot was not quite successful early on in the night. But Seth Rollins, he wasn't about to go 0-2 in these money in the bank ladder matches for the church. He has won under his rule, that being the men's. VIP Nation segment. Apollo Crews is being escorted to the back on a stretcher because he got taken out in the Money in the Bank ladder match by Jeff Hardy. And MVP and Shelton are sort of looking up on him. Lashley sort of just hanging low. And MVP gets into the ambulance with Apollo. And he's like, um, are you two coming with us or are you staying here? And Shelton's like, I'll need to come check on Apollo. And then he's like, KK, get in. What about you, Bob? And Lashley sort of just staring off in the distance. He's really got something else on his mind. And he's like, Bob... Then Bobby Lashley will turn and will go, No, nah, I'm good, I'll, I think I'll stay here, just just keep an eye out on things. And MVP's sort of, he's sort of confused, like, alright, but don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. And he slams the ambulance door shut, and they go with Apollo to the local medical facility. And Lashley just continues gazing off into the distance, something clearly on the almighty man's mind. 80. WWE Championship. 14 minutes, Drew McIntyre defeats Brock Lesnar yet again with Claymore Kick and makes defense number four of the WWE title. So the Beast has met his match yet again at the hands of the Scottish psychopath and you can tell it's getting to him because after the match, Lesnar staggering to his feet. He can't quite believe he's been bested yet again. When was the last time any man took two straight wins over Brock Lesnar? And he sort of takes the gloves off, he throws them on the floor, because he's pissed off. And as he wanders up the ramp, he reaches the top of the ramp. But charging him out of the back, he's taken out of a massive spear from Bobby Lashley. Lashley locks in the full Nelson on Brock on the stage, he can't move. He's been beaten by Drew McIntyre, he's taken a big spear from Lashley already. Heyman screaming for help. But no one's coming out to help up. Maybe some people would come out. But it'll lead, ended up with being stuck in the full Nelson. And then put through the announce table with a dominator from Bobby Lashley. Eight year rated segment for a fighting thing between Lashley and Brock seems quite low. Anyway, SmackDown Women's title. Bailey defeats Alexa Bliss in 12.45. To retain the SmackDown Women's title in a 63. Sasha Banks would come at ringside of her new briefcase. Nikki Cross in the corner of Alexa Bliss. But not enough to stop the role model on her reign. Bleh. I knew this had to happen because of one of the fucking people in this match is shit. Match goes 15 minutes 43 seconds. The Baron Reigns born Roman Goldberg triple threat match. It is basically what you'd expect a triple threat match between these men to be. Explosive bursts of Goldberg, and then he's taken out and laid on the outside for a couple of minutes. And we get a normal Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman match. We need to rest Bill, because he's getting old. But he has an important spot he needs to do. And we need him to be fully in, in the right frame of mind to do it. That is the finish, which is Roman Reigns is down. Goldberg and Braun are in the ring. One spear to Braun, two spears to Braun, and Goldberg's yeah, all fired up. He does that, rah! He singles for the jackhammer. He couldn't possibly lift the monster among men over his head, could he? He, he? he staggers for a while, but he finally, he gets the Braun Strowman up. And before we can slam him down, he, Roman Reigns flies out of camera, from the camera shot, and he spears Goldberg. Taking him to the floor, and Roman's out, because he's still selling the beatdown. But Goldberg drops Braun onto himself, into a cover, and gets the 1, 2, 3. So, Roman has inadvertently helped Braun Strowman pin Goldberg, and retain the Universal title. Had to keep him limited, because he didn't have the stamina to do a 15 minute triple threat match. After the match, there's a bit of chaos. All three men, not happy. They each, 
they, 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 they want a clear winner. Goldberg was beaten here tonight. Roman's pissed off. He says you only won because of me, Braun. And all three men start shouting at each other. Ha ha ha!